everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing and comparing Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress, which are the three top website builders of 2021, and telling you which ones are better and which ones I would recommend for you and your business. Now, before we do get into this, I have links in the description to a more detailed review and where you can receive special discounts if you're picking up these website builders or if you decide to go with any one of them in specific. So if you are interested in that, head right down to the description and check that out. Also, just a reminder that if you do enjoy my content, leave a like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell because I upload all the time and you do not want to miss out. And now let's go ahead and get right into the review. Now the first website builder I want to get into is Wix because Wix is one of the simplest website builders on the market without a doubt. It is entirely drag and drop and there's pretty much nothing you have to do. Wix does the heavy lifting for you. Now one thing I do want to mention and point out about Wix is that any websites you do build on that platform usually have more of a template-y feel to it unless you really get into the customization aspects which can then get more advanced. So if you are building a website on Wix, odds are it might have a more template-like feel. It's not really going to be a custom website. And also another problem I've noticed with Wix personally is that their e-commerce features are really lacking. Stuff like blogs as well can hamper the website's performance with Wix. It's really just a website builder that should, in my opinion, be used if you're making super simple one-page websites. Things that you don't really need to actually use things that you know once you build it once you set it up you're done anything in excess of that for me with Wix just doesn't really fit the entire point of that builder Next, I want to get into Squarespace because Squarespace is a really good website builder in my opinion. I've used Squarespace quite a lot. In fact, I have quite a few tutorials on this channel about that website builder. I think it's very easy to use and incredibly intuitive. I would say one problem, one downside I've found with Squarespace is that on the back end, they don't exactly have a lot of plugins or add-ons. So you're not going to be looking for any more advanced features, super advanced features. You're basically just going to be having Squarespace and using that to build their website. Now Squarespace is a really excellent option for e-commerce. They do offer quite a bunch of features when it comes to e-commerce hosting and Squarespace. So that is one benefit of Squarespace over Wix. Finally, though, I want to get into WordPress because WordPress is arguably a very powerful content management system and it's best for a serious business owner and someone who really wants to grow their website. Now, out of the three website builders I mentioned so far, including WordPress, WordPress is undoubtedly the hardest to pick up. It's the one with the steepest learning curve. But in my opinion, if you do learn it and if you do pick it up, it's definitely worth it because WordPress has the largest amount of themes. It offers the largest amount of themes and the largest amount of plugins. So in terms of features, WordPress wins hands down. But in terms of just super ease of use, I would have to go with something like Squarespace. Now, I do want to mention one final thing about WordPress is if you are using WordPress, unlike these other website builders, Squarespace and Wix, you are going to have to pick up a hosting platform. So if you are looking for a cheap hosting platform because you've decided to go with WordPress, I would definitely recommend ones like HostGator or Hostinger. Those are two very cheap options for you, two super easy to use platforms platforms, which I do highly recommend. So overall, and just to recap, in the end, I definitely recommend WordPress the majority of the time. If you don't want to use WordPress, if you don't want to learn it, if you don't want to bother with buying hosting, even though it's pretty simple if you go with an easy option like the ones I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to deal with all of that, I would recommend Squarespace. On this list, Wix is probably my least favorite option. Personally, I think Squarespace is great, I think WordPress is phenomenal, and Wix is just kinda there. Now it can be useful for some people, but it's just not for me. Now once again, just a reminder that I have a link to more details and where you can receive special discounts if you're picking up one of these or if you're picking up a website host so you can use WordPress in the description. Also remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, until next time.